Brian and Kenzie in the morning and Chicago's alternative all day. Q101. Time for sports, sponsored by the Marquee Network. Stream Cubs baseball at watchmarquee.com. The Q101 Morning Crew. But even though the Cubs had an incredible game last night, we'll talk about it in a second. Let's get to the Bears. Opened up the NFL season last night with the Hall of Fame game. None of the starters started. So Caleb Williams uh, were chilling on the sideline while uh, third-string quarterback uh, Brett Rippon played mostly. Tyson Bajan, though, got a, uh, got a series in. Went two for three, 16 yards. Remember Tyson Bajan? He was the future of the franchise. Tattooed up. Yeah. Da- dad arm wrestling champion. I remember that. Yeah, he's still on the team. Still Let's here. Let's go. There yeah. he is. Let's go. So we got a nice little series in and Brett Redman. It was just, I just listen. I get home from Lollapalooza. I'm eating a burger, McDonald's double quarter pounder with cheese, a little buffalo sauce poured on it because I like to do that. It adds, okay. adds extra flavor. Mm-hmm. Just watching football again. And the game did get called in the third uh, quarter because of a rain. They had big rain out there like Lollapalooza did later mm-hmm. on. Uh, but they called it. They don't want anybody getting struck by a lightning. Hall of Fame might, of course. Uh, over the weekend, we'll have Devin Hester get in, Mongo, and uh, Julius Peppers played four years for the Bears, so he'll get in as kind of a bear, even though he's not going in as a bear. But, yeah, just, just I was fired up, man. I was fired up last night. Oh, good? Almost got on DraftKings to make a bet on a preseason game. <laughs> <laughs> I can't <laughs> With no <handle> starters. <laughs> I'm like, let's go. That just sends you to a helpline if you do that. Oh, you're, betting you're, on you're pre- like, who's going to get struck with lightning? You're like, putting <laughs> money on anything? Got a little prop bet going on there. Oh, it was so good to have that game. And they won. But, again, it doesn't really matter the score. Oh, but Undefeated. That's the right. undefeated Chicago Bears, baby. 21-17. Next Saturday, uh, they'll be at the Bills at noon. And Hard Knocks on Max drops Tuesday, which the trailer and the clips coming out from Hard Knocks already got me goosebumps. So can't wait for that. Also, Bears president Kevin Warren... <laughs> Came into the booth for a second. This guy, man. So he's so determined to build the stadium on the lakefront, oh. even though everybody said. No. <laughs> pretty <laughs> much. They said, you're not getting a dime. Yeah. How about if you want it, you build it. If yeah. you build it, they will come. That's on you. It's almost not been made more clear that he's not getting any state tax, whatever money for this. If you want to build a stadium, go for it. It's just going to take your own $7 billion. That's the thing. He's acting like he's not allowed to do it. You're allowed to do it. You just can't get other people to pay for it. He's kinda, Which is welcome to the rest of our worlds. I'm thinking of that movie. I'm trying to think of the movie where the scene is where someone tells them the truth and then they keep going like saying the opposite of the truth. There's a scene I'm, ah, oh, damn, it's out of my head right now because Lollapalooza. I, know, I feel like there. I need a little more context than that to guess it, the movie. It's very vague in my head, yeah. but it's almost like he's just living in fantasy land. Now, because he said this in a statement, the goal will to be in the ground moving dirt in 2025. No one has said they can do this and get not one dime that they want to make it happen. That means I'll have a shovel in the ground in, you know, six months. His shovel? Like, is he going to go? Maybe. He might, he'll, be out, he'll be out there by himself yeah, thinking a hole because there's no construction it. crew. But this he, is like his field of dreams. <laughs> you got this. But he also said this. We are the largest landowner in Arlington Heights. We own 326 acres, so there's still an opportunity there. He's playing both sides. Everyone doesn't care anymore, I feel like. I, I agree with you. I'm done with no that. No one cares. Like, this whole game, Yeah. this is what happens. Like, you know when you, you have, like, an animal and you're, you have, like, a fuzzy toy, like a cat, and you pull it away and you pull it away and you pull, like, and eventually they just turn around and walk away. Like, yeah, the, if you, the, we're over it. Yeah, the cat's like, I don't want a stadium. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'll go find something else to do. I just want a good team. And yeah. they, they have focused on players and investing in them, like DJ Moore. So happy with that money that's spent there. Keep doing it there. Um, Cubs win 5-4 over the Cardinals with three runs in the ninth. Pinch hitter Mike Talkman comes in, doubles in Dansby Swanson for the winning run. Uh, Cubs scored three times in the ninth for that rally over the Cardinals last night. And uh, Cody Bellinger hit a solo home run out. Seiya Suzuki hit a 459-foot solo shot in the sixth for his second hit of the night. Um, but what a, what a good night for the Cubs. And they got three more against the evil Cardinals over the weekend. <laughs> also announced yesterday, late in the show, we got this out. The Cubs have a sponsored jersey patch coming for the first time in franchise history. Oh. The team announced they will now have a Motorola patch on their jersey starting. Where? It, it actually happened last night. Now, I didn't what? see, I didn't, I was watching the Bears game. So I only caught the score and the recap of the Cubs. I didn't notice what the jerseys looked like. Did you guys yeah, see look, it? Well, I'm looking it up right now. It's on the right sleeve, or maybe the left sleeve, but it's on the sleeve of the jersey. Wow. So they didn't put it in the sea like the sea is eating up the motor. It's, really, oh, no, no. <laughs> it's really big, and I will say the circle itself competes with the big old cub circle. It's really big. 
That's not good. I thought they were going to kind of bury it. Like, yeah. oh, well, if you look at the little corner in the, like, that's a, these are like the Motorola Cubs. It's kind of like when you get the free thing at a White Sox game and, it, and then they have like Chase Bank on the front and then it says South Side on the back or something pretty small. Oh, so does this mean when you buy like an official jersey, it's going to have it? I don't believe that. I'm not 100. Case might How know. Does that He's, work? Case you is in the jersey. Case, case, so, case was a manager at Lids. He knows these things. At 19 years old, I was a prodigy. <laughs> Well, now you're in the wrong career field. I know, you I know. I made a mistake. <laughs> so when you buy an NBA jersey with a sponsorship, if you buy it directly from the team at the team store, the sponsorship patch is on the jersey. I bet it's going to be the same way for the Cubs, but if you buy it at a Lids, I don't think it'll have that patch. What about, like, you, you, I feel like like MLB.com. That's where, like, everything, like, Fanatics, all that, it all kind of filters back to MLB.com. Would that have a patchy patch? I no? don't believe so, because everything is Fanatics now. They own everything. It's a monopoly. I know. Are you happy everything with that? I, no, it's awful. It's, everything it's I clicked killing on jobs. When I was trying, <laughs> it is true, because everything I clicked on when I was trying to buy Cub stuff the other day, it was the same site when you got there. It's yeah. like, Fanatics, MLB, lit, but it's all the same site yeah. when you click on those links. Mm-hmm. It's the weirdest. I I was like, why does this keep happening? I'd go back and click on the link and be like, what the hell? <laughs> so to be clear, when you buy, like, let's say, a Cubs jersey for a family member on MLB.com, it probably will not have that on there. Probably not. Just judging off the NBA jerseys, that's been the case, is that if you buy it from the United Center during a Bulls game, it probably has the patch on it. Otherwise, it does not. Can I ask a question for you guys? Because yeah, I don't, ahead. I'm not like, whatever, like, I'll get a knockoff jersey or something. I don't care. Hey. You guys, I feel like guys are very, like, authentic. You'll buy, you'll buy a, a, a jersey? A jersey? I don't <laughs> care. Like somebody out front, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Uh, not one lick. Not one iota. Do you prefer, because I guess the more authentic is now with the Motorola patch, is that, like, something that you'd want as a jersey wearer? Or would you be like, oh, I want the one without it? No offense to Motorola. Use their products. Love them. Love them. <laughs> Don't want it on my jersey. I want the real jersey. I want the jersey without but it. But this now is the real jersey. But I'm not getting money from Motorola like those players. Well, the players, let's say the they owners. Don't. The owners are getting yeah. money to have that on there. I don't want that on there. And again, no offense to Motorola. Okay. Love them. So that's not like some weird collection, like this is no. a one-off jersey. I don't no. know. No, I'm saying no. No. Case? I hate the sponsorship. I do not want that anywhere near me. Yeah. Well, you still like Dr. Seuss. I won't want it in a box with a fox or a house with a mouse. I want it nowhere near me. Or a jersey and a jersey. Yeah. Any one. There you go. <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. Uh, breaking news here with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. Uh, a lot of people calling on the text line saying, did you guys block me? Um <laughs> Yes. Mitchell, we did not block you. Yes, we blocked you all. Um, We're having some technical problems again. Boy, there's been some ghosts in the machine this whole week. We've had a lot of issues here in the. um, we the, have the had penny some drop, creepy issues. The I, Panty Dropper Studios. I forgot our new nickname well, for the, the studio. Well, the Stabbing Cabin, uh, the, and that's why it's getting <laughs> spooky. That's right. I I am starting to believe, and I'm being for real, Brian, that our studio is haunted. I because was, I'm telling you, I come in here, and my stuff's moved around, hmm. and I'm like, okay, like, who came in here? I unplug my chair every day, because I, I have a heated seat, guys, because I'm really cold. So I unplug my chair every day. And a few times I've come here, it's plugged in. Mm. And we've had really, really weird technical issues lately. Okay, we had a technical issue with Kenzie Crimes, which is spooky in itself. Right. Then we had one with our board sounds and now our phones. And I absolutely think that our studio is haunted. Now, Brian, mm. you have a history with Q101, okay? You were sludgy sludge prior. Right. Um, do you have any idea why it would be haunted? What happened here? Uh... Could it be because of strippers? Um, did they die here? <laughs> <laughs> did you bury a stripper no. somewhere? Because <laughs> absolutely. Uh, That's but... actually one of the movies Casey's going to watch during Halloween. I buried a stripper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is but it what? your movie? <laughs> <laughs> it's a snuff end... film I made. <laughs> okay. <laughs> actually, today, by the way, just a teaser for that. He's watching Rocky, Casey's review of Rocky. Very anticipated by the listeners. It's coming up at 8 o'clock. But uh, I wouldn't be uh, opposed to the idea because this studio has been... Very good for the, our run in this studio, which has been, I think, for two years in this in this room? Three years. Three years. Yeah. We moved. We were in another room. Then we moved to this one. And this is the big, beautiful studios, which you see uh, when you get to come in here for a lounge. We've taken people in the James and Sons Diamond Ring studio. But I, I'm not opposed to the idea that it could be haunted for some way. I'm trying to think of what's happened in here. I... And- 
I'm getting my, I'm getting like PTSD a little bit. Yeah, well, yeah, I know you've blocked out some of those. Like, I, I, have, I, I have blocked out a lot of things. Well, you didn't want to think about the stripper you killed. I, I, well, listen. It's bad memories for you, <laughs> poor guy. Well, in case you use the movie, you'll find out I was in the right. Yeah, well, obviously she was asking for it. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, there's a lot going on here with our phones right now. So uh, just hang tight. Case is working on it. And uh, hopefully we'll get it up and running so we can do Clash with Kenzie. Now, in the meantime, remember, coming up Monday morning, I cannot stress this enough. I cannot stress enough. Monday morning at 8 o'clock, uh, we have a unique Green Day experience. And here's just a little bit of Green Day as they launch the tour this week. <laughs> Now they played American Idiot and Dookie in its entirety, plus about 10 other songs. Uh, this set list was unbelievable. This is from Washington, D.C., and they have the show here coming up a week from Tuesday at Wrigley Field. I'm just telling you, this is a historic, exclusive Q101 experience. You can't get anywhere else. It'll be free, obviously, for you. And at 8 o'clock Monday morning, you have to be here. I know we're thinking about Lollapalooza. We, we're just only one day in, and it was incredible. We're going to have a lot more incredible content and interviews and broadcasts all the rest of the weekend. But just that's why I'm asking you right now, 8 o'clock, put that in your phone as a reminder to make sure you are here. Obviously, we hope you're here at 6 o'clock in the morning for the whole show. But 8, uh, make sure you're here for this once-in-a-lifetime experience with Green Day coming up Monday morning right here on Q101 with Brian and Kenzie. So... Uh, let's do that and work on the phones. It gets hopefully clashed with Kenzie here going in a few minutes. The Brian and Kenzie Show. Q101. You can't defeat her. She's too powerful. Clash with Kenzie. <laughs> Let the battle begin. Q101. And Clash with Kenzie with Working Phones is brought to you by the Schaumburg Boomers. Feel the boom. Visit boomersbaseball.com for tickets. So let's go. Let's get on with this. Uh, Maya's checking in from Cedar Lake to compete against Kenzie today for uh, Brian and Kenzie Q101 prize pack. Maya, tell us something a little about yourself. Hello. Well, my name is Maya. Uh, I'm an avid bird watcher and point collector. <laughs> Wait, you're a bird watcher and what? And a coin collector. I collect coins. Like ancient Roman coins. Ooh, wow. that's kind of cool. <laughs> How do you find that? Just the internet? Uh, people give them to me because they know I like coins. So I kind of just accrue them for free, honestly. How many people do you know that walk around with ancient coins? <laughs> <laughs> well, especially Roman ones. Like, I know I found this. Maya, it sounds like you're stealing from people. Yeah. I know. No. They're like, oh, yeah, I have some in my drawer right here. And, like, toss me a couple. I'm like, awesome. Well, I don't know. They find me, I guess. I understand how you could get, like, you know, the quarters from different states. You'd be like, oh, here's a Pennsylvania. I just thought of you. I've never been like, oh, my gosh, somebody actually gave me ancient Roman money at the gas station. Let me find Maya. You're over there buying some combos, and you accidentally give them an ancient coin. Yeah. I hate when that happens. Oh. They're like, it's worth three-fourths of a dollar. I'm like, okay, I don't care. Right? Well, that's a interesting. I stuff. pulled over on the side of the road, so I hope no one like thinks I'm broken down and stops me in the middle of the game. All right, oh, let's do this. Okay. What road are you on right now? <laughs> I don't know. I'm in the middle of some cornfields. Amen, <laughs> hey, girlfriend. That's how I identify roads, too. I'm like, remember that squirrel that got hit like a week ago? And by that. Sounds I know like... someone's going to stop and ask if I'm okay and ruin my game, so I um, hope no one stops. You just like flip them off. I don't need your help. <laughs> It sounds like the beginning of the movie, Children of the Corn, honestly. But let's get on with the game here. Let's do it here. Uh, first one to five wins. Listen carefully. Maya, if Kenzie gets one wrong, you can steal a point. She can do the same with you. Call heads or tails on our ancient quarter here, Maya. Please do that right now. Heads. It is heads. Uh, Julius Caesar facing forward. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I've got some uh, gladiator there yeah. says yes. All right, here we go. Uh, question number one, which kind of relates to your hobby, I think. Uh, what is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world. What's the oldest one? Uh, it would be the uh, the pyramid. We'll take that. The Great Pyramid of Giza was the oldest one of all mm -hmm. of them. Is that on any of your coins? I mean, maybe. I think it's, it's <laughs> on the border, isn't it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's like the Illuminati. Oh, you're talking about like the Pyramid of the yeah. Dollar? Yeah, I the, see. the Illuminati with the eye in it's it. It's been with us all along. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding in plain sight. <laughs> Hmm. All right. One nothing, Maya. I'm back to Kenzie. Kenzie, in what city would you find the infamous Alcatraz? Oh, 
You know what messes me up is I always think of Azkaban because that's the prison in Harry Potter. Oh my God. Um, it's a. Uh, oh no, it's it's one of the sands. <laughs> one of the sands. Is it? Is it Diego? <laughs> It is not <laughs> San Diego. Uh, Maya, that might have been a help to you. I know. For sure. It's Fran San Francisco. San Francisco. Uh, one of the Sands. Is right. Uh, it's incredible. Alcatraz, where Al Capone was uh, set for a while. Mm-hmm. And then he got syphilis. And then they let him go home and he died. What an awful way to die. I, I, I thought syphilis was something. Listen, I never had it. Okay, to be fair, don't hit the buzzer. Don't do Fire. it. Uh, I thought you go to Walgreens and get something and it's gone. <laughs> Reporting live from syphilis. Yes, <laughs> syphilis, like, real. He, he became demented and messed up, and he died a horrible death. Well, it was Capone. also in Alcatraz for a long time. They could have added the syphilis being a little stronger. I don't know if that's where he got it. I don't know if he just, uh, you know, somebody else. Well, he wasn't little... anywhere else. Well, it could have been conjured. He could have got what it from, like, the grocery die. stories. <laughs> He could have got on the way in. Maybe a little last goodbye from somebody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, two nothing back to Maya. Uh, Maya, what mammal's most common species is the bottlenose? Dolphin. Dolphin's right. Maya's got three. Crushing it here. Woo! Ken- Kenzie, in 2023, the White Sox traded Jake Berger to what team? Miami Marlins. Miami Marlins, where he's been killing it. Well, at times, he- is he killing it, Case, right now, overall? He's doing okay. He's Okay. It's but just okay. It just upsets you because he should be here. Oh, yeah. yeah. He should be on this losing baseball team <laughs> in Chicago. Well, instead of Miami. It, he'd be crushing it here. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it would be awesome. Another sports question going to Maya now. Yep. Uh, Keenan Allen plays what position for the Chicago Bears? Uh, the, uh, I, I, I honestly have no idea. Guess a football uh-huh. position. Guess any position. Receiver. Oh, he is hey. a receiver. Good job. I God, knew that. Your sports knowledge is elite. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Back to, Ke- is it Kenzie? It is four to one. Maya's ahead. This question's back to Kenzie. Kenzie, Kat Dennings and Beth Bears play the lead roles in what CBS TV show? Oh, the two broke girls. The two broke girls. Because he's got two. But bad news for Kenzie. This one can win for Ooh, Maya. Nah, nah. Oh, one sec. I think so. I'm on, I'm on the radio. <laughs> yeah. Did a cop stop? Okay. No, just some, I don't know. I'm in the middle of a cornfield. It's probably someone weird, like a serial killer. <laughs> I think he's a nice guy trying to help you. Yeah, he could be what just a nice guy. psycho. You're broken out of the side of the road. God, he's like, that you guy know almost lost me the game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> this guy is like, this is my pay it forward moment. Yeah. I know I'm busy today, but I want to help her. Good and, karma, good karma, good yeah, karma. And she's like, what a psycho. <laughs> starts, starts hooking up the car to tow it right now while she's in it doing the game. <laughs> All right, Maya, Maya. Maya. Let's do this quick so you can but drive away. T-shirt, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Maya, who is the yellow mouse like Pokemon with powerful electrical abilities? Uh, it's, uh, Pikachu. Pikachu is right. And there you go. What was the description of him? I'm sorry. Did you say mouse-like? Yeah, the yellow mouse-like Pokemon. That's an odd way to describe him. That's what he is. Is he a mouse? He is a mouse. There's not a chance in hell that's a mouse. It's not very odd. He is a mouse. Pokemon was a mouse. (laughs) (laughs) Congratulations, Maya. You got a exclusive 201 Brian and Kenzie podcast if you live driving away from that cornfield. Prize pack. (laughs) What'd I say? Podcast. Why do I? That's weird. That all, word. All week you've been giving away podcasts, which I don't oh, know how we're supposed to do this. God. It's a prize pack. I got Lala brain. I'm sorry. Uh, you got a prize pack, Maya. Thanks for listening. We love you. Thank you. Love you guys. Bye. The Brian and Kenzie Show. Q.